The Bolero, and boy, what a change of mood. Very romantic, some very slow actions and quick actions. Very hot and sensual between the man and the woman. In the Bolero, you're going to see a very sensuous dance. Here, you have a strong man-woman relationship. Uh, you're going to be looking for how they relate to each other, and do you see this uh, chemistry that's flowing between the couples. Here, we're going to see the most sensuous of all the dances. What we're going to see right now is what we refer to as a high-risk move. Here, the uh, compatibility between the dancers must be absolutely at its peak. Here, the arms and legs and hands are all important. And certainly, the man-woman relationship. In stark contrast to what we have seen thus far here at the Yankee Classic, Linda, this is the Bolero, a very sensual dance. Sensual it is. It's also very challenging because the bolero involves three different areas. Rise and fall through the feet, which is common to the waltz. A slow, quick, quick rhythm with the movements such as you would find in the foxtrot. And also hip action, which the rumba is common to, as this couple is demonstrating. The Bolero is a dance that is competed in the American rhythm discipline only. It is not a part of the international standard syllabus, is it? No. I think because their dances were already as well established in the competitive field, and Bolero was established later in the American style rhythm. She's depending a great deal on these slow movements for his support. What balance. Is, yes, it's very common in the Bolero. Oh, what a beautiful dance, the bolero. Mm -hmm.